Okay, welcome back guys to part 6 of the Elder Scrolls Online. So now we're just really, um, we're entering uh, our second main quest, the Harborage. Um, so we're going to go talk to the Prophet and he'll probably give us some big quest to do really. Um, yeah, so he'll probably give us some, you know, huge quests that will be quite interesting to do. So we're going to be going all the way be traveling quite a bit so we'll quickly travel over there because it's gonna be a lot faster for us um, because you know walking all that will, way will be quite annoying so we'll quickly uh, travel yes we want to travel there we go this quick travel thing is absolutely amazing we just see she's got a map and really quaboom we're just instantly over there, really. Although well, it takes a quick while for us to uh, get. It's um, quite amazing. Okay, so we're over here. Now we're very close to our quest. And I'll just see... Yeah, okay, there's the Prophet. The Prophet's right near us. And here he is! He's in his ghost, he's in his like Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 6 form, really. We're like, Ben! Okay, come on, talk! Talk to the ghost. Hello, Prophet! There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might play. Where is the safe harbor? Action. You must meet me there. I awoke to choking ash in the air and the sounds of strife. I am in Morrowind, home of the Dark Elves in a city called Davin's Watch. The harborage is a ruin in the cliffs west of the city. Okay, so quickly find our Okay, so we're going all the way out there. So we're just gonna go instantly right, really easiest way to remember as soon as you go just look exactly on the map and we'll find our way we just keep walking now I love my little my massive sword here it is absolutely amazing does quite a bit of damage to my enemies um, soon I'll have to start getting some armor for my character because we're gonna be getting going against some pretty heavy enemies and well, we do need the health. That's why with my uh, in my in the previous parts of the video, I've been um, upgrading my health. Um, not I've done my I've used one skill point on stamina so far, but I've used about three or four uh, skill points on my health. That um, that will help me go against some higher enemies. Okay, so I think we're going down here. I hope we are. Okay, I think we're falling down here. Oh! Okay, good thing we didn't, it didn't do any big damage. Okay. So, we're entering the harborage. Once a prophet was a man of vigor, uh, vi vigor and strength, some harrowing experience has aged and diminished him, leaving him blind and almost fe feeble. Okay, so he's blind. Did not know that. That would explain why he was like at the start when we were in the the whaling prison and all that he was like all oh, crazy. Alright, so let's go talk to the so we're talking to the prophet. He'll obviously his physical form will be in here most likely. I that's I think that's his physical physical form. Yeah. Hello, Prophet. Let us talk. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home How as did an you old find dried it? up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. When you first appeared to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. 
Before we truly understand history lesson, we must speak of the past. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time. Okay, let's uh, enter his mind. Although he speaks in riddles. Enter my mind, Vesta, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Okay, so let's follow this prophet. Follow me, Vestige. I wonder if he's blind when he's in his like spiritual form, really. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priest. And his staff is no absolutely awesome. Cry life. The Moth Priest Hello. took pity upon me and brought me into Man, the his fold. mind is uh, pretty is messed up, actually. Huzzah! Come here! It was there. I first I can't walk through him. No, see, I can't even walk through him, even though he's like a ghost. Time. Really, I can't even... It's actually stopping me. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality. But each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. So, okay. Alright. Hello, Prophet. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history... What does, the, the uh, what does that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined. What are with the, five the five companions? companions? The five companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, Dragonborn. to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the Who was this leader? in the Imperial City. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varum was not truly a Dragonborn. As those who sit upon okay, the ruby I've kind of got enough information. My brain is like frying at the moment with all these words and all of these, you know, magic stuff, really. I already just talked to him. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid lit. I only know that you are. The five companions were a band. Baron Aquilera. The Dragon Ball. Baron Aquilera. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions okay, yourself then. and witnessed their Fair enough. Fate. Okay, so... We're going to learn about these five compa uh, companions. The first companion, Ooh, hello. Lewis Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Thar. He looks pretty boss. Oh, you look pretty cool, actually. Hello! Good evening. Oh, he looks awesome! Man, if I could do my character any way like this, it would be that guy. Okay, so let's talk to the prophet again. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City. How could the Amulet of Kings turn Varen into one of the Dragonborn? Of <laughs> Many Marco convinced Varen. So the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice Why did Varen him to want to be dragonborn? dragonborn? 
By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he uh, always be Let's learn more about the companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform. Oh, the let's party. know about Lars. Who would you like to know more about? You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength. Okay, so and let's learn about uh, Sai Sai Han. Saya Sahan. Saya Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Lyris. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting okay, the Okay, I entire think I've group. kind of uh, learnt just about nearly enough. These were the five companions. Many Marco convinced. By tradition, Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform what the ritual. What happened when they performed the ritual? Witness. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about okay. the greatest Let's threat watch this. our world has ever known. There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Manimarko, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. Money Marco, Money, he's I bad. Marco, your half giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the Ruby Throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. Ah! By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. Oh, he's lighting me on fire. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron ah! ah! Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege! You oh. will be between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits of thunder! What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed They're to all, like, happen. dead. What's the meaning of this? Nene Marco, what have you done? Got them fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Merlin Paul. Camriel for his own. Akitosh, forgive me. Have mercy on our souls. Okay, so let's talk to the prophet. The ritual tore the veil between Nern and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark angels. Ah, uh, what went wrong? Initiate the Tainmelt. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nern. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel uh, would be protected next? from the Daedra. Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect what happened to the, the other companions Nern from their hosts. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Manamarco and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm 
of Moto. Uh, what about oh. Abner, Thorn, and Manny Marco? Thorn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Trivio rules as Emperor's Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manny Marco. Uh, how did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor. They saw you as a threat. A prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Bal does not favor losing. Okay, him. then. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave oh. Murloc Baal the opportunity to Take this. Murloc Baal's dark anchors pierced the tomb of him and seemed to draw him into the depths of cold harbor. His terrible engines oh, were damn. Buddy, you're going, you're going so slow. I just said he's blind, but I mean, come on. If it's successful, he would merge our world and his own in a terrible plane now. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Let's talk to the Prophet. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Bar and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. But now history seems to have caught Ah, uh, yes, I'm ready to go back. To Goodbye. As you say. Let us henceforth go back to Harbridge. And so it begins. The remainder of the story You've given is me a lot to think about. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. So but what's our next this. move? You will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. Lyris Titanborn? The first, you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location. What should I do in the meantime? Rescue. That will take time. Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents wherever they can I'll be found do what I can. and expose their lies. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Okay, Until I'll complete then, this quest. Walk in the light, Vistage. So we just completed uh, the quest 1.5. Okay, so now we're gonna. Uh, Okay, so that's going to be part six of the Elder Scrolls Online. So be sure to like and subscribe to Tech Bears for more tech gaming entertainment videos. And also be sure to check out some of our future videos in the future as well. This is Jordan, signing off.